In June 2013, water inundated the town of High River, Alberta. Everyone was ordered to evacuate as the water swept through, destroying almost everything in its path. More than a year later, the town is still under construction. But the United Church is repaired and open. Its ministry now is to support the community's recovery. Every day, our conversations, uh, there's a constant reminder that the recovery is ongoing. We still have a neighborhood, there's one, two particular neighborhoods that are now um, really under the uh, decision-making process of the provincial government that will eventually result in the complete um, removal of all of those homes as we return that land back to the river. Uh, those homes are still present. Um, they're a constant reminder that we are not through this yet and won't be for some time. We didn't have any lawn damage. Oh, other than the silt that had to come off of Anybody who put their stuff on their front lawn, when the front loaders came, they not only took the debris, they took the grass and everything else with it. The church staff and the board realized in the months after the flood, they needed help. Everyone was traumatized and trying to recover at the same time. So with, with a meeting of the council and, and us present, we came up with the, the idea that we needed support. We needed another staff person. Through extra funding provided by the Mission and Service Fund, they now have Diane Strickland on staff. Her job is to support everyone, the staff, the church members, and people in the community. I found people who were at differing stages of recovering from trauma. It's a strange, strange place to do work where everything, it seems, is shifting constantly and people just keep going. The church is offering a unique space for people in the community to recover. It is something that the church understands better than almost everybody else, and that is the role of community, that we can do all the one-on-one -on -one work we, we can possibly do, but there are some things that can only be healed in community. And so we understand that, and we also know the resilience of being in numbers so that the community will catch you when you are not doing well. It's the wider community of the United Church of Canada that created this safety net for this congregation. And so you just keep passing it on. <laughs>